These are two types of variable inductors. This one is a, called a variometer and it ranges from about 0 to 120 microhenries. This one is uh, quite a bit fancier. Looks like something out of an old-fashioned sci-fi movie, but it only ranges from about 0 to, uh, what is it, 6 uh, microhenries, so a much smaller range. Anyway, uh, I've already done a video on this one. Let's do a close-up on this and we shall take a, a look and see how it operates. This is the inductor up close. The inductor part is actually just this coil right here. It's silver plated to make for lower resistance. And yeah, so it's just a basic coil. Now the variable part is all the rest of it. So how the uh, coil is attached or connected to the circuit is this tab right here goes to the top of the coil. It's soldered right here to the very top of the coil. Now normally you'd have the bottom of the coil attached in a fixed uh, microhenry type arrangement. But this one, uh, what they do is you can connect here and then you can vary where it's tapped along here. And what we can barely see is right there, there's a wheel right there. And that wheel, every time I turn this, will go up or down one turn on the inductor. Let me go back the other direction so you can see how it's moving. There we are. There it is right there. Um, so yeah, this is the uh, wiper, if you will, for this coil. And how it's electrically connected to the circuit is through this contact right there. So it goes here to here to the top of the coil right here where it makes connection to the, uh, this piece. And then this piece is an arm. So there's a center shaft here. Let me get everything out of the way. There's a center shaft here, and then there's a rod here. And this little wheel rides on that rod and is free to move up and down as it turns around. So uh, as we move that, you can see the arm going around like that. You can see it pushing the rod around and you can see that little wheel moving and that is how you change inductance because as you move it that wheel or the tap moves up and down on the inductor making more or less of the turns in the circuit and yeah that's pretty much uh, the variable part of it the center shaft is a ceramic rod and the bottom is not in the circuit at all. It's just to help hold the other end of the rod. This piece down here is either for a hand crank or for an electric motor. They did it both ways. And that's pretty much it. It's uh, a bit of low tech. Uh, they don't use this kind of thing much anymore because most of it's digital. So it's been replaced by, you know, circuitry rather than mechanics. But yeah, that's about it. Got this at a ham fest. Oh gosh, decades ago and yeah, it's been sitting in a box and I thought I'd get it out and do something with it. Okay. Well, that was it for this little bit of uh, mechanical radio parts. Hope you found that useful and interesting in your DIY experimentation.